Hi, I'm Ryan Nickel, CTO at DSA, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about the difference between the point mass of the object and the rigid body of the object. So, I've got a basic problem set up here with a point mass and two rigid bodies. Without getting into too much detail right now, let's take a quick look at what this all looks like in the visualizer. Okay, so here we have our point mass. I've got that highlighted. Now I click on the next rigid body, see how it's highlighted there. It's also a sphere of exactly the same dimensions. Note I've used an ellipsoid feature to give it its whole presence. And then we have this other rigid body which has a cylinder hull feature. Now I've set the state of this rigid body to a 45 degree pitch just to give it some orientation. And really that's the crux of the difference between the point mass and the rigid body of the objects. Point mass does have a hull, but all it's doing is using this as a reference to calculate the forces and determine the translation only of what this entity does. For the sphere, we also have to specify rotational resistance, the rotational inertia of the system, and the center of gravity location, in addition to the mass, of course. And then we can give it many different kinds of hull components. I've pretty much made these almost exactly identical, except that the rigid body model will also be handling rotation effects. I haven't turned on any weather in here, but we'll see what happens. The cylinder just shows what happens when you have something more complicated than just a sphere. So let's see what happens when we run our simulation. I'm just going to let it run for a little bit, and then we'll take a peek at what's going on using the post processor. We don't actually have to wait for it to finish, so I'll pause the simulation. We'll open it up with post PDS here. Just click OK. OK. Let's zoom in on our objects here. So there's our point mass, there's our spherical rigid body, and our cylinder rigid body. And remember, we don't have any weather conditions on. So when we run play, we can just see the two spheres are bobbing up and down. There's no rotational effects. So what's the difference here? Well, actually, not that much. Because there's no rotation uh, forcing or any dynamics like that, they actually respond pretty similar to each other. On the other hand, with a relatively simple change with the cylinder feature hull, you get all these rotation effects. If you want to understand what's happening to uh, a more complex body, really anything other than a point, you have to use a rigid body feature when those orientations are critical. And a lot of the times we need these for surface, uh, uh, surface floats and surface uh, buoys and things like that. Anyway, I just wanted to give an example showing the key difference between the point mass, 3 degrees of freedom, and the rigid body, six degrees of freedom. Thanks for watching.